Hi TVS, welcome back to my next video on JNT Labs. Today we are going to see about RC phase shift oscillator. So we will be doing in multisim. So we require multisim software which we were installed previously, and the component and setups are like this. So you require resistor, capacitors, and one transistor and one CRO. So let us place this all things. Already I have designed this model in my multisim and let us verify how it works and what are what is the frequency of it. Okay, so this is the complete setup. You can able to see that 20 volts is my input and 4.7, 4.7 and 4.7 are my resistors. Here if you keep 4.7 the multiplication factor is 10. So 10 microfarads. So here this is a 47 multiplication factor 47 kilo ohms resistance at above and here 2.2 kilo ohms and here also 10 multiplication factor so what is the multiplication factor we are placing here we will be keeping 10 kilo ohms resistance and multiplied value of these two will be kept here in 47 and here is a 10 the simple way to remember you can note it down how to remember this RC phase shift oscillator if there are many resistors you feel and 1 microfarad and 22 microfarads so here it is 2.2 and here will be a multiplication factor of 10 so 22 microfarad and you have to remember this 680 ohms resistance so 1 microfarad through 1 microfarad we are getting my our output so this is the feedback which we have given okay this is the feedback which we have given again to generate an oscillation oscillations okay so let us start our simulation to start simulation just press f5 on your keyboard or click on this button so now let us double click on our oscilloscope so you, cro nothing but so you can able to see that i am getting 1 milliseconds of time scale and 1 volts of voltage you can able to see see channel a i am getting 1 voltage and time is nothing but 963 milliseconds i am getting it here okay in my channel b i have not connected anything if you want to connect you can connect it and i am getting in dc you can if you keep in ac mode also you will be getting the same value or if you keep in zero nothing but you are grounded then you will be not be getting anything okay so hope you have got this video and how to remember and all you can able to know remember rc is nothing but multiplication of factor of 10 when you are going to your lab internal exams you remember it is the multiplication factor of 10 all the 10 values for 10 nanofarads 4.7 kilo multiplication factor of 10 so 47 kilo and your one microfarads 10 kilo ohms resistance below because the multiplication factor could sh should be placed down and 22 after that here 2.2 kilo ohms so multiplication factor is 22 and next year 680 you will be getting your output in this manner many of your friends connect it and doesn't get output so what it happens is basically you will be getting this kind of thing Basically, when your CRO opens now, it will be opening in this fashion. You have to change your scaling so that it gets more voltage, and then you can show your output. Hope this video or this diagram, whoever is seeing, will be useful for you, and you can make your own oscillations, and it is working finely. So you can go and bind the components, and you can make your own RC phase shift oscillators. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any doubts, just comment below. And we will be seeing in our next video about the Viva questions of these videos. Thank you.